and this is Loftus Fairsfeld for round 13 action between the Bulls and the Crusaders. The Bulls meeting New Zealand opposition for just the second time in the competition so far this season. Quick heel and out the back from Reed. Good hue into his stride, and then George Bridge. Well, terrible bounce for Pollard, and Moanga will go in under the posts. Crusaders are off to a good start. Look at this for a dreadful bounce over the head of Pollard. Nothing you can do about that. Unlucky. Maybe in many ways well worked by the Crusaders. Oh, oh Marco van Staden had rights to the ball. He was over it, but then lost it. And Moanga is quick to pounce. He could go in for his second year, Richie Moanga. What a finish. Well, that is brilliant. He just brings a little sparkle to this back line. The dummy was audacious and well accepted by the Bulls. Beat Pollard, had the pace to go the distance. Some real talent. Combining in the midfield, a little pop on. And off the turnover, Pollard will now clear deep. George Bridge should drop back. Comes back towards Jack Goodhue, but beats the tackle of Funstein. And here is Goodhue. And looking for Dunshay, who stretches those legs and scores. And it's a brilliant try, isn't it? It's a missed tackle there in the midfield, and it just opens up all the space in the world. Well handled, well read by Goodyear, and Dunche had the pace and the strength to round it off and finish. Clinical in the way they execute, clinical in the way they, they accumulate points. They've been allowed to gain momentum through missed first-time tackles, and this is just going to be a very, very simple run-in for the Crusaders. George Bridge allowed to run brings it back to the near side eventually gets tackled and goes to ground look at the crusaders line up off, off to their right our left as we look at it not one bulls defender inside and kieran reed has got too many options picks the man with speed picks the man who's going to get it round under the poles and time to go and reset says the bulls captain andre pollard and half time at Loftus, it's the Bulls 6, the Crusaders 26. Another opportunity to stretch his legs. He's often been out in the wider channels, but here is Seba Reese once again to go in for a brace. Oh, he makes it look so easy, does Seba Reese. Oh, we've been talking about the Bulls' defense, they opened up like the Red Sea once again. Just too easy, quick hands, finding space on the outside. It was well read and well orchestrated. And Reese is in all too easily. Oh. Pollard and put him down. There it is for the Bulls. And for all that pressure, all that time spent down here in the Crusaders danger zone, finally Boo Boo and and the Bulls have some reward so important from a psychological and mental perspective to get something out of all that sustained pressure. And another cross kick from Moana. Two widths of the field and, well, it's a hat-trick. They've made it look all very easily indeed. That is a brilliant kick. Nothing you can do about that. Reese is not the tallest man around. He's got up high, he's got the ball and he's scored. Very good line out and Barrett it is who goes in for the next one. Yeah, look at this. It's, it's so simple. It's just a late peel around the front. Papier exposed. Not even Devin Rousseau getting into help. Good stop. Scott Barrett. Devin Rousseau uh, dropped it onto the boot, but just about missed it. Over here. And. Uh, just about a summary of the Bulls' evening. Full-time at Loftus, it's the Bulls 13, the Crusaders 45.